guys, if you're new to my channel, I'm Lori, and welcome to the Chatty Bookworm. Um, tomorrow, but when you see this video, it'll be the day of, is the uh, Mafia Romance Readathon. It takes place from the 5th through the 8th. I know Jen from, I think it's the Book Refuge. Um, I think Jess from Peace Love Books, X's and O's. Um, uh, Madison from, what's this, Paperback? I always forget. I always get her, her, um, tied, I mean, her book thing wrong. Her book channel. Oh, poor baby. Got the hickey uppies. Um, I can't find it. I know I wrote it down somewhere on here. Just in case I forgot what her channel's name was. But I can't find it. Because I suck. I don't know. I'll tag if I remember down below, but I know. Um, one of the books that I picked out was recommended by Madison. Um, but, yeah. Um, I really don't know, like, I have some books picked out just in case I'm in the mood for them, but for the most part, I don't even know if I'm going to be, like, doing the reading prompts unless it happens to fit but not really like try to pick them you know like pick them but I do have some ideas of what I would like to try to read if I'm not you know like in a reading slump but I'll still read you all of the um prompts because they do have a bingo board I know um Jen from the book refuge um you can go find her channel, or if I remember, I'll put it down below. And she has, like, um, templates that you can use. Um, it's on her Instagram, but you can, you know, find it through her YouTube channel. But anyways, um, I'm not going to do anything. I mean, it, like I said, I have some picked out that could work for them if I'm in the mood for them. So I'll just share with you those ones. But then I have a lot on my um, Kindle from Kindle Unlimited, I have on my Kindle e-reader book because um, I have a lot of Mel Mel romances that are mafia that I want to read, and I don't know what they will fit into. Pro um, you know, prompt rise. So most of those I'm gonna, most of the books that most likely I'm gonna mood read. But like I said, I do have some physical ones if I can get to them. But if I'm in a reading slump like I am right now, like right now, I've only read one book. And it was a manga. And it's short. Yeah. So I'm kind of like in a reading slip right now. And most likely I'm going to... Usually when I'm in a reading slump, um, it's easier to read ebooks Because for some reason it feels like it doesn't take as long when you read an ebook. But anyways, I don't know these in order. But um, I do have them written down. There's 18 prompts. There's Blood on the Cover, Royalty in the Title, Next in a Series, New to You Author, Oldest that you own. Could be a physical, oldest physical copy you own, the oldest Kindle Unlimited or Kindle book that you own. Whatever. Um, a Tattooed Hero, uh, Name in the Title, um... Captor Captive, Arranged Marriage, Host Recommendation, Bratta, Bratva, how do you say that word? Irish Mob, Italian Mafia, Costa, Costa, Costa Nostra, Nostra, something like that, Cartel, um, Foul the Host, uh, Brother's Bestie, and Outsider to the Mob. I think that is all 18. And I have, like I said, some picked out. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. My daughter's talking. I got Stolen Air by Sophia Lark. This will work for um, uh, Captor Captive because something happened in the first book and he wants revenge on the family. So he kidnaps the daughter, and it's like a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but it's Mafia. And this would also work for um, next, in the next book in the series. 
and heir is a royalty, right? Heir? Like you're an heir, so that's kind of a royalty, I guess. I'm not really sure about that one, but I would work for a few. Um, I know, like I said, for the host recommendation, I know um, Madison, Kate Madison. I think it's Madison. I'm sorry if I say it wrong. Oh, yeah, Madison. I found it. Madison from Princess of Paperback. She recommended Ruthless Creatures by J.T. Singer or something like that. And so this would work for recommended by a host and also tattooed hero. He's definitely tattooed right there. But if I like this one, then I would love to. I don't own a physical copy of the next one, but I think they said that these are all available through um, Kindle Unlimited. So if I like this one, I could always download the next one because I heard that one is a captor captive as well. Captor captive as well. So yeah, and I think they said there's a tattoo hero or something like. That. I mean, they had tattoo person on there. So yeah, um, all I know about this one is that her. I don't know if it's her husband or fiance, somebody supposedly. I say I. I think supposedly went missing. And she don't know where he's at. And she's finally ready to move on. And I think he moved next door. But I think he has something to do with her husband. And I don't know if it, like he's sent to like kill her. I don't know. All I know is that he falls for her. Yeah. That sounds really good. Um... I got, um, for Outsider to the Mob, I got Broken Vow by Sophia Lark. Um, um, he's a, uh, he's body, he's like body, um, being a bodyguard to her because someone's, she's got an assassin after her. Someone's trying to assassinate her for some reason. So, yeah, but he's... She's mafia, you know, she's, her family's mafia. I guess she's mafia, if I'm remembering correctly who the, who the, um, girl is in here. But, um, yeah. So he wants to protect her. Her name is Riona Griffin. And I forget what his name is. Raylan? Raylan? Uh, this one I'm super excited for. I love like bodyguard type ones. So yeah. And then this one will work for a couple. Queen of Madness. It has royalty in the title because of Queen. Blood on the cover. Like you can see blood. Like on the card. See all that blood on the card. I know I saw blood somewhere else. Where else did I see blood? On her hand, there's blood. Yeah. There's a lot of blood on this part of her hand. This one has a little bit, but it's her other hand. Wow. And this one, I think, yeah. It's not, um, a, um it's not, well, it says it's not a, um, um, Alice in Wonderland, like, retelling, but there's, like, Easter eggs, you know? But it does say that something about like him falling into a rabbit hole or something. It says the greatest weakness any man could ever have is a woman. Okay. So his sister made some kind of mistake. And it sounds like they want him to, um, somebody um, wants him to um, like work for um, the queen, the queen's family. And he starts to fall for her, I think. I'm not really sure. It's kind of confusing me because it says, My sister made a mistake, one that put us in debt with the Italian mob. Oh, this would also work for Italian mob. Italian mob. Uh, who owns half the state and has payment there and lists me to work for them. Only it isn't them I'll be working for. It's her, Onyx in Bros. She's a ghost, a legend, the head of their rival family. Mafia family and the queen of one land. In order to save my family, I have to act as her guard so... This these this group can kill her. It says, but the longer I stay, 
The more I realize Oxic, Oxen, something like that, isn't who I thought she was, and neither am I. Turns out I'm just as mad. Yeah. <laughs> so those are physical copies of books I can read. I was hearing, I think I heard that, oops, <laughs> I don't know what this would fit for, but I heard, I think I heard that um, Wretched has like a mob element to it. I mean, mafia element to it, if I'm not mistaken. I'll double check, but I heard somebody say that. But I know this, he's like an, un, in, an undercover agent that turns spy or something, or that's a spy or undercover agent meant to spy on her. And they don't like each other, so yeah. But I don't know for sure if there's mafia in it, but I thought someone said there was. So that maybe if it has mafia in it. But I don't know what prompt would work for, but some of, like I said, I'm in a mood read as well. Um, I have this one book on my Kindle called Blurred Red Lines that Madison was talking about. And that, she said, was for the cartel. Let me see if I can find, find it on here. Yeah, red lines. It's by... Sorry, my eyes went cuckoo and now I can't find the author's name. Cora Kinboard? It says, um, let me find it. Comes a steam, steamy captive to lovers romance. So that would work for that one too. Full of unstoppable action, intense rivalry, and heart pounding twists. Caria? Caria? Cara? Something like that. C A R R E A. -A. Wait a minute. C A R R E R A. A word. Whis ah, whispered in fear, a name to avoid at all costs until I come face to face with it. Abducted, held against my will, prisoner of war, I know nothing about captive, about, ca about. Abducted, held against my will, prisoner of a war, I know nothing about. Captive to a ruthless cartel prince who wants more than my freedom, he wants me. I should hate him, but the deeper... Valentine dragged me into his blood-stained world. The harder it is to become, I mean, it becomes to resist. Until the stain, the blood, it becomes mine. And I'm no longer a prisoner of war. I, I am the war. Says so the cart, the carrier, carrier, something like that. Cartel books are all standalones. However, if you prefer to avoid spoils, spoilers, it's highly recommended you read them in the in order. This is the first one. Let me um, show you the cover. First, I need to go back to the cover. He's tattooed hero, too. I see a tattoo on his arm, on his hand. I can't tell if there's any other tattoos, but he definitely has tattoos. So, yeah. And then another one is um, Irish Mob. And I have a book called In, Retrib In Retribution. How do you say that word? <laughs> and I'll tell you about that as soon as I find it. I think this one is Mel Mel. First, let me show you the um, cover. Cover. It's In Tribulation, an Irish Mafia Dark Romance by Courtney W. Dixon. So there you go. It's for in it's in, for the Irish mob. Look at that. <laughs> He's tattooed. Both of these guys that are in mafia aren't they tattooed? Seems like. Ooh yes. I just notice he has red hair. Sorry. In books for some reason I have a thing for guys with red hair. <laughs> now this one is the second book in in the um, series. It's not the first one. It says, one night of lust could turn into eternity of love, but desperation for revenge could destroy their chances of happiness. After a life of poverty and abandonment, Charles Nolan sought no, norm, normalcy and stability. He controlled every aspect of his life with fine-tuned precision. Something. How, how, precision? precision? <laughs> I cannot say that word. Everything was orderly. Everything had its place. Then entered a man during a one-night stand who shattered his, 
his carefully constructed walls and heart with little effort. But there was a darkness surrounded him, bringing out Charles' own pain. Could Charlie, I mean, Charlie's own pain. Could Charlie get over his past? Could he allow this man to get close without crushing his soul? Or will his fear of abandonment take hold? And then there's this guy, Brady. It sounds like, like um, something happened to somebody he loved. I don't know if he was married or what, but it sounds like something happened. And it also sounds like he, and it also he was abused when he, by his father. And he's a, um, his father is the one that ruled the Irish mob. Yeah, it says that he was, but that doesn't compare to the loss of his lover. It says, surviving from Greece and, grief and PTSD, he lived an empty shell alone until Charlie danced his way into his life. Finally, Brady saw the light at the end of the tunnel, a glimmer of hope. Could he push past his grief and find love again? Would his enemies take away someone he cares about once more? Sorry, my nose was itching. Would he finally get his retribution? There is a lot, a lot of um, triggers in here besides the ones that were in the description there. It says it's a dark Irish mafia Mel Mel erotic romance, H-E-A. So, but yeah, that one I would love to get to. I heard somebody talk about this book as well. I can't remember. I think it might have been one of the people that are the host, but I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. But I have some other ones that really look good. There's this one called Ghost. Um, by Joel Abernathy. It's a mafia one. I'm not sure what this would work for. I can't tell if he has tattoo or not. Because it's dark. And because of the picture is so dark. But I know it looks really good. Let me tell you what that's about. It says, he's known by many names, but he expects me to call him master. As the future is default, default, I'm not sure. D-I-F-I-O-R-E, Don. I should know more than anyone that we're not the good guys. But when I catch an even more deprived Man, ab about to prey on an innocent woman, I lose sight of that, of that just long enough to make the biggest mistake of my life. The guy whose life I snuffed out happened to have been the district attorney's son. I am suspect number one, and I'm guilty as sin. It stands to reason the only one who can save me is the devil himself. His code name is Echo, but they call him the Ghost, and he's the most notorious fixer in the business. The morally how is that word psychopath who's willing who's willingly to cover up any crime no matter how hideous as long as you're willing to pay the price money is one thing but look in those gun mental eyes something like that and i'm pretty sure this guy wants more than that he wants me and i'm way too inclined to give it to him body mind and soul i'm no stranger to the dark side but when he lives in places even the shadows are too afraid to touch were as wrong as two people can be for each other. But when he touches me, I feel it. The embers of the darkness, he's awakened within me, stirring, calling. When, What happens when the man who is contract, contact, contract to fix everything is the man who's destined to break, your, break me? So we got... Loran Lorenzo and Echo. It says they're both corrupt men and their love story is not for the faint of heart. So that one sounds really intriguing. There's a couple more I wanted to talk about and then that's going to be it because this video is getting long. But let me see. I'm trying to find them. There's one I got called Cuban King. I'm not sure what that one's about, but um, it's by P. Something Thomas. I'm not really sure if I'm going to read that one, but that could be one. But I'm not going to talk about that one. I'm trying to find. 
That one that looks really, really good. But I'm not seeing it. I thought I downloaded it, but I'm not seeing it. But there's another one where um, he's a priest, or he's going to become a priest. And the guy is hired um, to protect him because someone's trying to kill him, I think. I don't remember which one that one it was. I just know that's what it was about. I know it ain't that one. I know it ain't that one. I know it ain't that one. Is it this one? Maybe. Let me see if this is the one. No, this ain't it, but this one sounds good too. This is another one that I could read. So we might as well mention it, even though this ain't the one I was talking about. But I'll show you the cover. This one is called Lucifer's Landing by Davison King. It says it's an M.M. Mafia romance. So, that. And this is what it says about it. I wish I could find that one I was talking about. It says, three worlds to be in the mafia's boss kept man. Keep his secrets, care for his body, don't die. Murder, sex, and greed pumped life into Lucifer's landing. And as a leader of the Scavendo, Scavendo, I'm not sure, S-C-A-V-O -E -E crime family, it's all Dante knows. But when he meets Rain, the most popular Savino brother, I mean, Brothrol Escort. He can't resist keeping him for his own. But enemies lurk in the shadows, determined to tear down everything Dante has built, everything he loves, and Rain just became target number one. After all, life at the top isn't built for happiness, and no one is meant to live forever. So that one sounds like it could be a good book. I just, like I said, don't know what prompt it would work for. Trying to find and it's driving me crazy that I can't find that one that I that I wanted to talk about. I don't think it was this. I think I already talked about yeah, I already talked about that one, so it ain't that one. Ooh, don't you hate that when you know there's another that there's a book that that you want to read and then you can't find it? I don't think it was this one, was it? No. It wasn't a girl. It was a Mel Mel romance with a priest. Ugh. I'm sorry, you guys. I wanted this to be quick. But the way I'm going is not going to be quick. Nope, that ain't it either. That is a Mel Mel um, Mafia, though. That ain't the one I'm thinking of. Maybe I'll find it, you guys. I don't find it in a couple seconds, and we're just going to forget it. This is it. Yes, this is it. Seduced by a Sinner. This is the fourth book in the Morelli family. By Leighton? Leighton? Something like that? Green? Let me, um, before I tell you, read the just what it says it's about. Let me show you the cover. So this is a cover. I'm trying to see. Can't tell. But he's, I mean, I don't know that's a tattoo's like not on the cover. It says he's seduced by a sinner. He's innocent, chastened. He's promised to God and he's more than, and he's more temptation than I can handle. I'm supposed to guard the boss husband, but I just can't keep my eyes off his best friend, Adian O'Leary, watching him, one in him. No one, I can never have him. Adian is pure in body and soul. He's about to be ordained as a priest. Me? I'm going to burn for the things I've done, and I can't stop thinking about all the sinful things I want to do to him. But when there's an attack on Adian's life, I'm reassigned to protect him, and we and we grow closer than ever. Someone wants Adian dead. It's my job to deliver him safely to the church, to take his vows, although I'd rather keep him as my own. I'm sworn... I've sworn to protect him until I can give him away to God, but it's getting harder and harder to let him go without a fight. And if I can't 
focus on the job. How can I keep Adian safe when our enemies are closing in? Uh, that looks so good. Uh, that one I'm definitely going to read, even if it don't fit prop. <laughs> hey, it's Mafia, right? So that's the main thing. But there's other ones I could talk about, but we'll be here all day if I talk about all the books I would that are Mafia that could be cool to read. But if I mood read, you'll be finding out some of these. Like there's this one that I really want to read. That's a, that's a Mel Mel Mafia. It's the third book in the one I just was talking about where he's a FBI profiler who ha who's half the other guy's age. It's forbidden for them to have contact, but he can't stay away from him. And there's a task force that blames the Morales for a seri series of murders in Central Park. It's up to me restore our reputation, but fate puts me on a collision course with an agent on the very task force dedicated to bringing down my family. And we end up on the run together. My, my heart has been ice cold for decades, but something about him sets my body, I mean, my blood on fire. It'd be crazy of me to trust a fed, but, the, but he claims he wants to prove my innocence that's it that the enemy of my enemy is my friend we each want to solve the case for different reasons but we'll end up dead if we can't follow my if he can't follow my lead so to make him behave i'll use every weapon i have including my body but why do i feel like i'm the one losing control it says enticed by the enemy is a mm mafia romance set in the world of the morally morally crime family it can be read as a standalone of course, it says, you know, it's funner to read it, you know, in order. But, yeah. I'm not really, like, intrigued about the other ones. I was trying to see if I have any that, like, has, has a person's name in the title. Maybe this one? I'm not sure if this one is a mafia. Yes, this one actually would work for Cos Cosa Nostra. How do you say that one? It's called Flirty something. And then it has Lucinda also in the title. Lucinda, I mean, it's by Bethany Chris. It says Lucinda Mor Mor Morcelli is aware of the expectation to follow him as the oldest son of one of, one of North America's most infamous Cosa Nostra Dons. How do you say that? Family in his world is more than blood. I mean, family it, family in his world is more than blood and sharing a last name. It honors, respect, business, and the life. Being a capo, capo, how we say that, is just a stepping stone until it's time for him to take on the role of under boss. By a chance meeting with, but a chance meeting with her could be the one thing he's risked it all for. Sees exactly what he doesn't know he was looking for. Jordan. Reese spends her life trying to stay under the radar of a man who wouldn't think twice about killing her. Unwillingly affiliated with a dangerous MC gang, her life is her life is dominant, dominated. I mean, by the men surrounding her, and her future rests solely in how useful she can be for them. The last thing she needs is some Mephisto. I don't know how you say that word. Gaining her more unwanted attention from the club. He is everything she should stay away from but can't. Notorious violent when it comes to getting what he wants. Lucinda will stop at nothing to make the target on Jordan or Jordan's Jordan's back disappear. But but sometimes the worst threats are the ones you can't see until it's too late. The truth behind Lucinda's history is about to take center stage in more ways than one. And it'll either save him or kill him. So Yeah, it definitely would work for for a um, person's name in the title since it does say Lucin. Let me double check that it actually says it on on the cover though. Yeah, it does. Lucin. It does say Lucinden. Lucinden, stuff like that. So it would work for that and the the Nosor Cosa Nostra. How do you say that one? Oh, yeah. And I'm sure I have something in here that's 
that would have arranged marriage. I think that one that I didn't mention that I got an arc of would work for that. Something about Cuban King or something like that. But yeah, that is it. Let me know if you're joining, what you're reading. And like I said, this will be up the day of the read time. <laughs> so yeah. And I will be vlogging it, so stay tuned to see what I read, if I read any of these, or if I go totally off script and find other mafia books. I know there's Crow by somebody that I would like to read. Um, there's Ivan. I think that's by Sophia Lark. Um, there's um, another one that I really that I have on there, but I can't think of it right now. But I know it's a duet where she is hired she's hired like he's under house arrest or something like that and she's hired to be his lawyer and she's got to like stay with him in the stay with him at all times i can't i'm blanking on the name but it's really popular i think it's by gina darlin maybe or something like that and yeah there's a couple other ones that i can really read so yeah but anyways, that is it. If you guys like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. If you do subscribe, hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasure. Remember DNF if you need to. Um, yeah. And just enjoy what you're reading. And I hope you guys all have a good day, night, whatever the case may be when you watch this. And I hope you guys have a good reading month. And I hope you guys, are, I mean, I hope I get out of this reading slump that I'm kind of in. But that is it for me tonight. And I will talk to you in the next video. So take care. Happy readings. Thanks for being awesome. And thanks for being part of my YouTube family. Night.